Push it out of bed. Pull it for me. Graze wound to the head, possible concussion. We dressed his wounds and set him up for a CT. No, I didn't bring him to CT. What? Why the hell not? He insisted on going to the OR to he watch the insisted. surgery. Is he a doctor? Elliot. No, no, of course Your not. Your patient was shot in the head. It's just a graze. He was hit by an object traveling at 2,000 miles an hour, and you didn't take him up for a CT. Yeah. Have you lost your mind? No, I tried. I really the tried. The seizure could be a brain bleed. Let's get him upstairs now for a CT. Do you understand? Yes. Good. time for Mother's Day. You've written a memoir about your mother, The Seasons of My Mother. Mm -hmm. And there is, there, well, there are a lot of personal stories in it, but there's one that I absolutely oh, love. Yeah. A time beautiful. where you nearly had your mother kicked off the set. Oh. That you were walking oh, no. out. Oh. Well, first of all, none of us got where we got without our mothers, right? That's right. So I have to say, pushed me out the door to my first audition. But then later, when it was a stage audition, but then later when I, I started doing film, she loved to visit me on set. So this was like the first time she was really mm. on a film set, and we kind of set her up behind the camera where they have a monitor, and they put these things called contacts so you can hear what's going on on, the, on on her. And I'm rehearsing for a scene where I'm an older woman and my younger husband's coming back, and I'm worried because he's been, he's been frozen and now he's melted and he's coming back to me and age isn't supposed to matter, right? Mm -hmm. So <laughs> um, I'm kind of worried walking around, getting ready to rehearse, and all of a sudden they call, okay, and quiet on the set. And a tear comes to my eye, ready for my scene, and sound rolling, sound rolling, and, and just before they say action, I hear, psst, psst. <laughs> What? It's my mom. She goes, psst. I'm like, what? She goes, smile. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, oh, true story. Smiles. Oh, you. And he goes, you. you look so much prettier when you smile, honey. I was like, oh, this is. Let me tell you what, I tried it with a smile because my mother said to, and it made the scene much better. Oh, wow. Because I was all like worried and ready, you know, to defend myself. And then I tried it with a smile, and she was like welcoming her younger husband. And guess who wants to come home to wel welcoming woman? Right. 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 So, so it's good. My mom knows. Mother. Sure. Mom knows. Mom knows. Aww. You, your mum was diagnosed with Alzheimer's at the age of 72. Mm -hmm. Now, what was the most important lesson that you learned through going through this journey with your mum? That's such a great uh, question because there are, in America now, 5.7 million people who have been diagnosed. It's a heinous number. Mm -hmm. And it's not just that person. Then it's their families mm -hmm. and it's their caregivers mm -hmm. and it's all the people around them. The first thing I say is be easy on yourself. Take care of yourself, mm -hmm. but also remember that every little act that you do of kindness helps that person to have a better quality of life because mm -hmm. they're living in the now. Right? They're living in the now, so you make the now better. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm. Um, your CBS drama, Cold Blacks, returns for <laughs> the third season. Sorry, I just think about the mom Can I just say, I was listening to that clip, and I swear to God, he said, Yes, sir. At the end of it, when I said, "Do you understand me right now?" He went, "Yes, sir." I think he said, "Yes, sir." <laughs> so, so is it as exciting to make as it is to watch? Is is working in this? Yes, show? it's high octane making mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. because it's based on it's I inspired by a documentary. So there's a cinema veritas element that we have to have for it. So it's a very small emergency room with a lot of people in it and a lot of cameras and a lot of crew, mm -hmm. and we sort of take it very seriously. I have found myself barking for a scalpel. So no, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the patient is a dummy, but they might die. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like, like MGH, S-A-G, Screen Actors Guild. Yeah. It's behind your name, not M-D. So, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> well, and 
<laughs> next week's episode, you and your co-stars get to shake things up in the ER a little bit by doing some musical scenes. Yes. Mm -hmm. What was that like to shoot? Okay, Louis Guzman, who plays Mama, can I just say, do you see him twerking? He twerks. Oh, he's on her. But they, well, I mean, a little disco dress. It was so much oh, fun shooting this. Goodness. You get, look at, look, look. I mean, it's to the just, this. yes. Oh, well, that's cool. So it's based in, there's a story that it's based in, but look, everybody's dancing. That's what was that's so cool. much fun about it. Now, mind you, I had broken my toe two days before oh. because an eight, a 1,000 pound gurney, it's 800 pounds and a 170 pound person on it, oh. rolled over my toe oh, and it broke. No. And I'm in high heels now going, do, 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 no. do, do. and all I care about, does it look good? Right. <laughs> Can you tell I broke my toe? It's 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 one. <laughs> That's all it I cared good. about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You look really good. <laughs> Your youngest daughter is going to appear on the show this season. Yes! Oh. Now, how did you both do on the set when you oh, were right. filming together? Oh. I tried not to be helicopter mom with her. Uh, her name is Julita, and she plays a character. She got the audition all by herself, and mm -hmm. sometimes she would listen to me, and sometimes she would say, go away, Mom. But now I'm watching her do this scene, and she's been hurt. Mm -hmm. And they, she would do the scene, do the scene, mm -hmm. do the scene, and then they'd say, cut, and she would burst into tears. Mm -hmm. And i say, sweetie, you have to do it on camera. So she's practicing, and the first take, she's sobbing. They're pulling out of an airplane. She's sobbing. And I walked over and said, that was awesome, sweetie. But it's a really wide shot. You're that big in the frame. Save it for the close-up. She's like, got it, Mom. I'll be in my trailer, uh, right? You right. 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 All right, Marsha, because you have spent um, the last three seasons, last three years, perfecting your role as a TV doctor, we thought we would put your medical skills to the test if you're up oh, for the challenge. Lord. Are you up for it? Oh, good Lord. You can do I'm this. game. All right. You're game? I'll, I'll All right. give it a shot. Oh, right, good well, Lord. Up next, we're heading into the ER with Marsha for a oh. medical face-off. Oh. You don't want to miss. We'll be right back. the star of Code Black, Marsha Gay Harden. Doctor. All right, Marsha, you have spent three seasons saving lives mm -hmm. as the stop at nothing doctor, Leanne Rorish. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now it's time to put those TV doctor skills to the test in a game we're calling Doc Against the Clock. Oh. All right. Here's how this game works. We have split up into two teams. Team number one is led by TV doctor, Marsha Gay Harden. <laughs> Team number two is led by our resident former military <laughs> medic, the one and only Cheryl Underwood. You huh? didn't tell me that. That was, a, that was many years okay. ago. Many okay. years. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cheryl, Marsha, yes. listen up. Okay. Because your job will be to ask the remaining hosts who will be your nurses, nurses. to mm -hmm. hand you different organs which you must correctly place oh inside oh your patient's God, body. Okay. Uh -huh. If you don't put them all in the right place, they won't fit. You have 60 oh, seconds to put your okay. patients back together again <laughs> and whichever team fits the most organs Come into on, the patient Cheryl. before time runs out wins this game. Right. <laughs> Marsha and Cheryl. Okay. Have you ladies got the guts? Yes. Give me the yeah. Okay, let's put 60 <laughs> seconds on the clock. When you hear the ding, call for your first organ. Give me All the right. brain and the heart. Brain. Give me the brain and the heart. Brain. Got the brain? All right, uh, hand the heart, please. Hazel, bitch. All right, put the head in there. Can I have okay. the... Uh, 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 lock, lock, lock. Put them together. Coming in? Coming in? Give me the oh, stomach and the liver. Shoot, shoot, the liver. Wait. Oh, brain. Okay, uh, there, there, there. Okay, how about the liver? No, no, no. Liver. Yeah, liver. Liver. Wait. Give me this one first. How about the large intestine? Large intestine. Large intestine. How about that one first? Are you moving his brain? I'll put him in there. Get it in. Uh, put him in there. 11 to 30 seconds left. Get him in there. Get him in there. Get him in there. Just yeah. where the uterus is 
supposed to be going like that. Cheryl won. Now, even though Cheryl won, we make well, you know what? She was a real medic. Okay, real that's why she was. And we still love this you. This is it. Yeah. Mine are in the right place. Yours are in the right place. All the right, right. position. This is, this is going to make tonight's uh, episode all that much more interesting to watch. Right. That's <laughs> right. Season Anything is coming up. Come on. How did you get that in there? No. Season three of Code Black premieres tonight at 10 o'clock right here on CBS. Marsha's book, oh. The Seasons of My Mother, comes out next Tuesday. However, everybody in today's studio audience is going home with a copy of it.